Good greetings and welcome, fellow Fall Dwellers, to another episode of Let's Play Fallout 1. Alright, we have saved the vault. We have stopped the timer and now we are free to roam as we wish. Also, let's play with this computer. Right, so we need to use the science skill. Well, my science skill isn't great, but it should still be sufficient. Um. Uh, try again. I'm not entirely sure if I did this correct. By the other computer. Hmm. I don't know if that did anything. Oh no, actually it did any it did something. My uh, experience went up. Alright, it worked. Also, I'm curious. How does my karma right now? I am a champion. Definitely on the good guy path. Alright, let's go inform our dear overlord overseer about the state of the world or what he finds in our report. Lots of redheads uh, working here. I guess the overseer has a preference. I, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the water supply is stabilized. Actually, we're rebuilding our reserves. You did great. I, uh, I am a little concerned, however. About what? I, I don't like your reports. What was in the reports, that is. <laughs> In fact, they scared the heck out of me. It's those mutants. I've done some calculations and... Well... I've come to an unpleasant conclusion. What's that? The mutant population is far greater than could be expected by natural growth or mutations. This leads me to believe... In... I don't really understand it, but... It looks like someone's generating new mutants. And at a startling rate. Say again without the confusion? Someone's making mutants. What do I need to do? As long as someone is creating hostile mutants at this rate, the vault's safety is at stake. Find and destroy this lab as soon as you can. Once more into the breach, my friend. You have no idea how sorry I am to send you back out. I'm sure you feel heartbroken, sir. Actually, that's not entirely fair. I don't know how he feels. I'm not a mind reader. He's just trying to do what's best for the vault, and I'm sure in his eyes, getting me out there, because I have the most experience, is probably the best course of action. Elevator has swallowed me. Right, I'm gonna have to wait for wait until evening. Have you left the, the facility yet? Would have been a bummer if I'd gotten stuck on that. <laughs> oh, 
All right. I have to recreate the scene from the start of the game. Are we left? I guess I'll take these flares with me. Open the vault. Uh, now we can also go back into the vault whenever we feel the need for it. I uh, probably will not feel the need for it for quite some while, but if I need some healing, I guess I can come back here at some point. And for now, let's just leave. I could kill some more rats, but I don't feel like they're doing that. Uh, but the rats have different ideas. Well, they will find. I am slightly better armed. But these rats are also not worth killing anymore, so... Right, so we are some ways away from the next level. Time to start digging into some slightly more interesting quests, in my opinion. Because up until now, I've been actually kind of skirting around a lot of stuff. I mean, Junktown in the hub, that's, that's all stuff that I was always intending to do, because it's on the way. And once I'm there, A as well. But I kind of want to talk to the Brotherhood. However, before we do that, let's go visit some friends. We've not been in Shady Sands for a while. I'm sure they have had a great time without me and are probably quite happy to see me again. Just start at the entrance. Oh, thank Dharma you are here, Wanderer. My girl, er, uh, Tandy, Aradesh's daughter has been kidnapped. We believe raiders have her. Hmm. Where are these raiders? They're to the southeast. Please hurry. I don't know what they'll do to her. Hmm. Okay, I'll get her back for you. Also, do you have anything... Uh, Raid? Nope. I'm working on it. For you. You have some stim packs? I want. You care about any of this? Eh, that's not gonna be enough. That's probably... no, actually that's fine. You can have some bullets. The bullets are more valuable to me right now as a form of currency anyway. I have plenty of uh, FMG ammo. Uh, Alright, let's see. That's 41. Right now, I just really want all the stim packs, just in case something goes wrong in the next bit. Also, a lot of dogs here. Didn't notice it before. I do have the right sprites spawned in. I always thought there was more people walking about on the streets of Shady Sands, but there's a lot of dogs. Now, I may have missed a quest here a long time ago. The back room here. The, you see a pale, wry young man. No, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling too well right now. At least we can find some help to fight the scorpion stocks, my brother said. Alright, so. That's a guy that needs a little bit of help. The peasant. I don't want to talk to the peasant. Right, I need to do a little bit of business with... No, not sneak. 
I need to heal from you. I need one of the antidotes again. I did give it to... I gave it to Tycho. I just need the one. Go away, peasant. Go peasant somewhere else. Alright, let's talk with you. You look distraught. You need assistance? Oh, Tandy has been kidnapped. Hmm, Tandy is gone. I find this hard to believe. Maybe she ran away with Seth. I know they have been eyeing each other lately. That is always a little bit of a prude. Perhaps it was too much for her, finally. I don't think so. I think that she was kidnapped. How awful. If that's the case, I hope she's not hurt. Who is looking for her? Well, many people, including myself. If she's hurt, it could be bad. Here, yeah, take this. Or you won't need them. Well, I hope he gave me some stuff. Um... Right, well... For these stim packs, would you consider some ammo? Hmm. Take one back. Don't mind spending a few caps on this. After all, we have enough. I still have plenty of supplies that I can trade. Uh, let's see, that's 36. Right, I'm not sure what he gave me, but that's fine. Ian, alright, fine. Walk so everyone gets away. And before anyone locks me in using this and use the antidote Jeff's brother oh he <laughs> Razlo gave me an antidote yay we gained some experience points thank you so much for helping me my name is Jarvis and I'm Seth's younger brother please if there's anything you need to know just ask can you tell me more about your brother this is a very good fighter he's very determined a little too much sometimes Still, he's devoted to the welfare of the village, of the town. Huh? If anything to barter? No, because you're just lying there, and you're probably not going to get back up. Right. Please let me leave. Ugh. Things like this make me a little bit claustrophobic and afraid to go into buildings. Hello, Aradash. You're probably distraught. Thank goodness you came. I am in desperate need of assistance. My daughter Tandy is missing. I do not know what to do. Have you tried to save her? My people are not skilled in this. Already three patrols have gone out to look, but none returned. Okay, who could have taken her? Seth and I believe one of the raider clans is responsible. Retribution for our resistance to them. Take this spear. It was found where my daughter was last seen. Okay, I'll check it out. Please, talk to Seth. He knows much about these raiders. And Godspeed, Wanderer. Right. So, yeah, Tandy has indeed been kidnapped. And probably other people too. Suddenly it feels very quiet. We still have noise. Uh, I'm working on it. All right, so he doesn't give me any more new information. I'm not sure that Tandy is all that interested in Seth. I mean, she has already did some as much in the previous conversations. All right, well, we don't only know of one raider camp, so that's where we're going. The Khan. 
All right, let's do some negotiation. And the Rapolitan Skull. How's that? What do you want? Looking for a woman named Tandy. Seen her? Nine, seen her. What are you asking? There's a bounty on her head. If I can kill her, I can get some good cash. Really? What does she look like? About six feet tall, blonde. She's from Sadie Sands. Yeah, she's here. She's in the back house. You know, if you tell Gaul you would want a piece of the bounty, you might want to think about that. Right. That was a lie, but hey. I never said I was an honest lawman, just that I was a lawman. And I can really see Tandy. Alright, so. This fight, will, uh, this talk probably will not go well. That's fine. The Gaul, leader of the Raiders. He is armed with a Desert Eagle. Let's get 80 hit points. A oh, bastard. What do you want? Well, I've come in peace to negotiate the release of Tandy. Hmm, well then, what do you offer for her release? Hmm. I represent a threat you don't even understand. Do you really want to risk our wrath? Hmm, for some reason I believe you. You may take the girl, but do not return unless you seek her wrath. Done. Well, I was not counting on that actually working. And I kind of do want to kill the Khan, so... But we'll do that once we have Tandy in safety. After all, what good is a Fallout game if you can't just kill raiders in cold blood? That's what they're there for. I was afraid that you were gone and I wasn't going to get a chance to thank you for rescuing me. Oh, that was great! Action! Adventure! Anyway, if there's anything that I can do for you, you just ask. Got anything on you? Well... Your father gave me this spear that I don't need. Any chance you will take it for this stim pack? You need a few more caps, that's fine. How about a fruit? Eh, one extra cap. Well, I can do that. Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? <sighs> Nothing much since you whomp those rad scorpions. Gee, I wish I could have seen that. Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, <sighs> see ya. Bye. Right, Seth. Our entire town is grateful to you for destroying the rat scorpions. Thank you. All right, that's not the conversation you should be having with me, but yeah, fine. Now. We get 500 points for a free Tandy and 400 for returning her. That is fine. Ardesh? I will be forever in your debt for your courage and bravery, Wanderer. Here is your reward. Thanks. Until we meet again, my friend. May the water you find in the desert not shine at you in the dark. Done. Again, no idea what he gave me. Uh, instantly some ammo? Well, that's fine. Alright. Yeah.
to ensure that the raiders will not harm my friends again, let us lay some vengeance down. I do the whole Pulp Fiction quote, but I can't remember it, so just imagine that I said something cool. Hello, boyos. But Garth is by far the strongest guy here. Oh, look at that. They're not so happy about me coming into town, eh? Yeah. Come at me, fuckers. Shouldn't swear. <clears throat> Insta gift. Take that burst rifle away from you if you don't behave. Now don't switch to your knife. Hmm. Good shot. Return to base immediately. Petrox is killed. You might have had some dialogue. Right, everybody fall back to me, please. And draw your best weapon, please. Alright, so here's another place where we could potentially have found some stuff. And I don't want the booze. I want all the good stuff. Yeah, what is my weight currently? I'm at my limit. Alright. You need to carry some stuff for me. As in all the 10mm ammo and weapons. And yeah, you can have shotgun as well. You have the antidote. Heavy as that. I mean, it's quite heavy. That's eight pounds. And buff out, I'll take. Take another suit of leather. The throwing knives are next to useless. Alright, you can hold on to the leather armor. supply run I suppose or we move on to the other stuff because I will also need to make a stop in the, the hub before I move on to our next major objective and I'm probably gonna completely bypass junk town because uh, there's just no real reason for me to go there anymore I think I don't think anything particular changes in between the uh, finding the water chip or anything now 
Well, there is no official tally for uh, time passed and all that. I do have a certain limit on some things. Uh, I may have mentioned this that there is a limit on when the uh, necropolis gets exterminated. Hmm. Pretty. Not a critical. Oh, looks like we drew some attention from the inside. Looks like the boss is coming. Hope we don't accidentally stack them up on the near the doorstep. And let's get in proximity. Dog me just got that. There's Garth. Nice. Fifty-five hit points, critical hit. Nice. These raiders are pushovers. Right. Critical hit in the arm. So much looting to be had. Well, that's not great. And we're all the way back here, right? Ian, what is your damage? Yeah. I'll force you to reload. Well, all right, let's do this. I mean, it was going so well, and then Ian had to go and get himself killed. I honestly had not noticed that he was getting quite that low. Death is instantaneous. Nice. Well, at least it shows my build is sort of working. Any critical hit will generally be probably fatal. Alright, well, 
unfortunately. I kind of hope to finish that up this up this uh, session. Anyway, we'll have to wait until next time. <coughs> Thank you all for watching. If you enjoy my content, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all then. Bye.